going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's five some dudes, baby. It's the five some dudes. Today, we got 54 mods on the testing list, and we got nine modders to talk about, including some new game changing mods from Mac Trucker 921. And today's 82 Studios' birthday. Yeah jump right in. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today we got 54 mods on the list. 37 are in stage 1 or PC testing and 14 are in stage 2 or console testing. Some notable mods and PC testing today include flavored milk bottle factory, stud blasting, what is that, and modern cow shed. Also in testing we've got the Fast Track 4000 and 8000 series, direct seating, Massey Ferguson 5S rework, hey we showed that off, and snow plows. Rounding out PC testing we have the Lizard 3500B, Lizard 14T trailer, Hurleyman 488 and the XMT4i and the Vent 900 Vario Forester. Your maps and PC testing today include Edgewater, Saskatchewan and Ocarin Homefield. As far as your console mods and testing, we have some interesting ones like the Massey Ferguson 8S, US and EU series, American Flatbed Pack, Sell Everything and the Planet Pumps and Hoses extension. And your maps and console testing today include Bandicow and Deerlands. With all that being said, we still have 196 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 8 work days. No top stories today, so let's jump straight into modern news. Mac Trucker 921 has released a new video on his Facebook page showing off a few new mods that he's been working on. First is a set of pallet forks that have straps on them, allowing you to strap down pallets or, in this case, a massive amount of logs. Of course, you're going to need a massive weight to hold your tractor down to the ground on the other end, and that's where his recently announced 75 100 kilogram weight comes into play. I mean, it is what it is. It's a big weight. And naturally, you're going to need a massive tractor to use it all with, and that's where we get to see his unreleased Case IH 340 400 Series Special Edition. This mod, however, we've known about for a long time, and it's been in and out of testing for at least a month or so, so hopefully we're getting close to its release. And we can't forget about the new version of his flatbed service truck being shown off the logging edition. There may be a few too many big logs on that truck, but it does seem like it's holding it all right, so rock on, man. These mods are all either with giants for testing, in testing, or being worked on right now for all platforms. Tactical Farmer is continuing to work on his John Deere 1023E 1025R pack, with lots of progress being made recently in his live streams, and not so much with post updates. The past two days, he streamed twice working on the cabin and the rear weight. Information may be widespread on this mod, but he's still working on it. This is also his first project like this, or anything close to this, so it's still taking a little time but that's okay He's doing a great job with it it's gonna be worth it 82 studio has submitted an update for his 50 foot gooseneck trailer with the help of gizmo quasar the update is currently with giants awaiting testing for all platforms it will fix the sliding issue that has plagued the 50 foot gooseneck for a while now at least since the release of the platinum dlc he's also got a mod pending release the tlx fifth wheel winch for all platforms you will need the platinum expansion activated on your game save for the winch to work but that's it also, big shouty out to 82 Studio as today is his birthday. If you guys get a chance, drop by his YouTube or Facebook today and wish him happy birthday. Next up, custom modding shows off how the attachments for their Val Metal project will work. And that's what I think they've shown off here, at least. It's pretty cool. It appears that when you get an attachment for their tanker, you're going to have to manually attach it. You'll have at least four of these attachments for the spreading system, and they will each work differently. Usually, this type of customization option is just that, a customization option in the store. I like how they stepped outside the line and done it this way. This is not a thing, it's a system. JHHG Modding shows off a new cornhead pack coming in collaboration with Kelderman, the John Deere Cornheads Corn Reels. There will be 8 row, 12 and 16 row options, and currently JHHG are in talks with Kelderman about getting the brand licensed in-game for all platforms, at least that is their plan. This would be pretty cool and offers players one more way to farm realistically. I love it! Back in December, WolfX Modding announced a new mod that he was working on, the LKT Turbo, and we haven't heard anything about it since. Well, today, he's made the special announcement that the mod will be coming to Mod Hub, and it's got a new rear double winch to showcase for it. Overall, we don't really know much about this tractor, but by these screenshots, we could tell that it's about a medium sized tractor with a front blade and a rear double winch for pulling trees around. I also can't tell completely, but it looks like an articulated tractor. Whether there's other customizations for field use remains to be seen, but it would seem to have far less specialty tractors like this in the game, so players would have one more option 
to add to their collection. I love this, and he'll be welcomed with open arms. One other thing, WolfX is working with a name that we haven't heard from since March of last year, White Bull Modding. They're working together to bring three more mods to FS22, the NO VVP Subsoiler, the NO Duplex Back Mulcher, and the NO Dominator Mulcher in general. These three mods are still works in progress, but it is great to see a legendary name like White Bull Modding back in the news. Slosha's Modding have finished up their John Deere 1210A Auger Wagon and has been sent off testing for all platforms. We talked about this for the first time a few days ago and they still had to do the textures and get it in game, so uh, they've done a lot in the past week for this. Unfortunately, initial specs and information is locked to the Patreon account, so probably just gonna have to wait until the mod is released to see for ourselves. Poor Boy Modding's got some updated information for us on his Hickory Valley map update. The map did fail testing as Giants requested that the map receive a border. Additionally, there were some flickering on the asphalt that was added and Giants have requested more details to be added to the map. It seems that the requirements for maps, even in an update, have increased. All of these things have been fixed and the map is back awaiting testing. Oh, and his Piney Run update is pending release as well, so that's great news. We'll probably see that today. And and thirdly, the Rogue River Valley that was shown off over the weekend is also with Giants waiting testing. However, with the waiting time at eight work days right now, it could be a week or even two before we see some of the mods that we've talked about today in testing. So just hang in there. And lastly today, Taylor Farms brings us more information on his Prairie Farm 4X that he's trying to get on all platforms. The file size is only 205 megabytes and for comparison, Comston Farm, which is an all platform 2X map, is about 6 100 megabytes. I believe it's like 591. And according to the test runner that modders use, the slot count is comparable to the standard version of Prairie Farms, the 2x version that's already out. Even with a massive starting equipment, it only takes up half, actually less than half the available slots on old gen, so plenty of room for additions there as well. That's Xbox One and PS4. It seems like Taylor's really trying to get this on all platforms. I mean, he's really trying hard, making us the first crossplay compatible 4X map that was not accidentally released. Now, that's not to say that it will be, but he's really trying hard. Unlike the effort that I put into these self-aware segues to the outro from one to the last one. Yep, totally didn't just copy them. Uh, uh, let's just move on. Just like every episode of Find Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out today's video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com, thanks to Yoast. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that is it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure there's notification bells are as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel with that hope you have a great day we will see you later Peace. A big shout out to my parents. They got me a bunch of these really cool tractor shirts for Christmas. This is easily distracted by tractors.